welcome back to another meal planning grocery shopping video. If you're new here, my name is Leah and I'm going to share with you how I like to spend less and create more. So if that interests you, make sure you stick around, give this video a big thumbs up. This is Savvy Saute. Okay, here we go. I have a little bit of grocery shopping to do. We are in our basically fourth week of our five week month. $350 is the goal for our budget this month, which is really small compared to what we normally do here. And I think we're doing pretty good. We stocked up on milk and meat and all kinds of things earlier in the month. So really the only thing I need is some fresh produce, maybe a few snacks. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm also going to be working on our meal plan as always with our meal plan Monday. And then if you have any ideas of what sounds good to you or family favorite recipes, leave them down in the comments and maybe we'll try them. So let's go see how I get my meal planning done before I go grocery shopping. Let's start. All right, I have my handy dandy notebook. Did y'all see? There's a meme, I actually shared it the other day and it said, things are so crazy right now. Steve straight up said, I need to address the nation. So did you see the video? Let me know. Did it make you emotional? Were you a Blues Clues fan? Were your kids a Blues fan? I was for sure and kind of got a little emotional. He got me, he got me. All right, so one thing that I always keep in mind when I'm creating my meal plan is if there's any kind of events or special days that are coming up, busy nights, what have you, that are going to interfere or affect what we do for dinner that night. So on Saturday, we have a wing fling. It's a festival that we do every year here in our town and we're gonna be eating there. And then another night I'm going to be out. Um, I have some things going on. So we're going so a really important thing is also to write down the things that need to be used up first or before they go bad. So we have some bell peppers and jalapenos I had purchased on clearance. They're still good and I could go ahead and slice them up and put them in the freezer but I might be able to just go ahead and use them now while they're fresh and not frozen. So I wrote those down. I still have some radishes and then some other things that I want to use. I don't have to use them. They're not gonna go bad. They're already in my freezer, but things that I want to use up. So I wrote down frozen soups because they've been in the freezer for quite a while and I wanna make room for new fresh soup for the season. So I wrote down tortilla soup, minestrone soup, and chicken noodle soup. Well, there's no noodles, but it's chicken broth, chicken, vegetables. So I wrote those down to use those. And then I come up with some meal ideas. So if anybody has a request or if there's things that just really sounded good, things that I know I have ingredients for, I'm gonna write them down here. So Dakota requested burgers. I really have been wanting to eat some sriracha chicken again, and we have chicken legs in my freezer, so it'll be perfect. Can use those. We have some pesto sauce that I wanna use, and I have some chicken breast in my fridge right now falling out, so we can do some chicken pesto. A sausage sheet pan. We have brats in the freezer that we've had for a while. I purchased those on clearance, of course. So we're gonna go ahead and utilize those. And the sheet pan is going to allow us to use some of those peppers as well as the radishes. So that way we're using what we have. And then that gives me four meal ideas. I'm over here writing down some things that I either need for those meals or just need for the household for the week, which would include lettuce for our salads, bananas, because we always want those. Grapes are on sale, cereal sounds good, and maybe some snacks. And then over here, I have a list for a family night that we're doing. So this is not part of my regular grocery budget. We're all kind of pitching in, sharing the expense, you know, it's a special event, that kind of thing. So I have some taco sauce, lettuce, sour cream, tomato, refried beans, ground beef, Fritos, onion. Can you guess what we're making? So this is what I am taking into the grocery store with me. And then we will create our finalized meal plan once we see what the store has.
All right, so first I'm just gonna share with you the things that I picked up for our family weekend. We have aunt and uncle and we've got family going to all have dinner with us together. So we are going to be doing like a taco spread and everyone can make their own bowls. So I have some Colby Jack cheese that's shredded. This was on sale for $2 a package and these are the eight ounce bags. I also got some that my nephew can have. He is dairy free, wheat free. Okay, there's a lot. He is all dairy free, egg free, soy free, wheat free, peanut free, beef free, corn free, rice free. He can't have fish. Did I mention he can't have beef? Okay, so like I said, I've got the cheese here that he is able to have. This one is a mozzarella shredded. And then we also got the cheddar style that's shredded. And he likes these. He has this all the time. Um, and then this is the slices of cheddar. So these were all on sale plus an extra dollar off when you mix and match purchase things. So we did that for him. And then I was really excited. I went into Food City and I found lamb, ground lamb, which to me seems really fancy. Like I've never purchased lamb for my home, only if I go out to eat, but it was only $6.43 for almost one and a half pounds. So actually cheaper than ground beef or just about the same price for a higher fat ground beef and he can definitely have this so that way he gets to have what seems like a normal taco night with us and it doesn't have to be chicken so this i thought was a win hopefully he loves it and it tastes awesome i also needed lettuce like i showed in the store they did not have any more regular bags of romaine so i did pick up this one for 149 they're the really small ones so we got that and then we needed some onion for cooking the ground beef and then we can make our own salsa if we want to but I got some romaine, um, I got, what are these called? Roma. I got some Roma tomatoes for topping, also some sour cream, just a little one. I still have some left in my fridge, so we'll just use both of those. Some green chilies, these were on sale for 49 cents, and these are awesome. So um, usually I like to mix this with the meat and cook it all at the same time, but we do have some spicy sensitive or sensitive to spice family members. So I will probably just leave these on the side along with the jalapenos, which are our favorite. So bonus, um, if we don't use all of these, which I'm sure we won't, then it'll just become part of our pantry. But anyway, and then this is been a family favorite. I don't really use this much, but it is a family favorite for some of our family members. So I went ahead and got this and then we have our favorite hot sauce in the fridge from our Mexican restaurant. So we'll have plenty of hot sauce. And then Fritos, AKA corn chips, crunchy and satisfying corn chips. The original were on sale, not a bad price at all. So we got those. This is the ground beef that I picked up. I think it was about $5, maybe close to $6 for this one pound of lean ground beef, which is uh, some of our family's favorites. So I went ahead and got this. Normally we have 80-20 in our house, but this was not too bad of a price for beef and it's going to keep family happy. So we're gonna use this this weekend with our tacos. And that is everything for our family haul for our upcoming dinner. Um, and my mom wanted some of these, so this won't necessarily be for that dinner, but, um, or the slices, but it was a mix and match price. So that is all for this weekend's family dinner. Okay, so here's everything that we picked up for our household for after this weekend. So Dakota wanted to get some coffee cream. It was not on my list. I forgot he wanted it, but we got this one for $4.99. Almond milk for myself. I use this in cereal, sometimes iced coffee, just different things. And this was down to about $2. And then the Frankenberry is officially out. All of the Monster Mash, the Booberry, the Frankenberry, and the Count Chocula. But this time they all have marshmallows. Am I crazy? They didn't have marshmallows before, right? This is because it's a special edition. They have marshmallows. They don't always have marshmallows. Let me know in the comments. Do they always have marshmallows? I don't remember them having them. Um, so anyway, got that. It was, I think, $4. I'll, I'll let you know in the... I'll let you know in the description box how much this was. The Rich and Creamy Deluxe Shells and Edged... Edged? Aged Cheddar. $1.49 instead of $4. So... We like to keep this on hand for easy nights. And then this I picked up for Weston for school. I think he'd be really excited as a surprise to have some Cheeto mac and cheese and this was down to a dollar. 
So we got that. And this is something for easy lunches as well, either for Dakota or for Weston. It's just really easy microwave brown rice and then put it with some chicken. So um, just keeping this on hand is really nice in case I forget to have something ready for Dakota. He doesn't have to, you know, order out if he doesn't want to. This will be really easy. This was a request from Weston and um, the kids already started breaking into it, but it is the Blue Raspberry Starburst drink mix. I'm not a big fan of these drink mixes because they have artificial sweetener in them. I'm pretty positive. Yeah, aspartame. But anyway, he came up to me and he said, Mom, I know Starburst has sugar, but this says zero sugar. So <laughs> he was really proud of what he found and was excited to try it. And I was like, well, there's only six in here. It was $1. So um, anyway, got those. Then also some beef. We are doing burgers on the menu. Dakota requested hamburgers this week, and I'm gonna be busy for a couple of different nights. So he'll be in charge of cooking them, and you get 10 patties in here for $4.99. This is, if you can see, over two pounds for $4.99. So it was cheaper just to go ahead and buy them like this while I saw them on sale, and he won't even have to patty them out himself. We're all out of our frozen pre-done ones, and this way he can just pull out what he needs so it'll be easy for him to cook our dinner that night while I'm away. Malin loves yogurt. This one is a higher sugar one, but it was on sale for $2 and it looked like a really good one. You can see all the vanilla bean in there. So it's going to be like an ice cream for breakfast, but it's still, you know, going to give her some nutrients, give her some dairy. She's been very picky for a long time. It's when I can get her to eat anything, it's a win. So I know she'll enjoy that. This is our favorite fruit ever. What can I say? These are gonna be gone in probably four hours from now. When Malin wakes up from her nap and Weston gets home from school, these will be gone. So <laughs> that's just, you know, a fun special treat. But for $2, I mean, you can't beat it. They're strawberries, they look great. Hopefully they're still sweet. He'll be excited about the grapes too. These were down to 99 cents a bag. No, I wish. 99 cents a pound, so that was a really great deal. These white or green, I don't know what they're considered. I think they're considered white grapes, but these are Weston's favorite, and he was he's gonna be really excited to see those. Bananas we always get. I like to get them in the bag at Food City because they are really inexpensive. This two bags were exactly $2 total. So that is everything for this. I forgot to show you this. It ended up not coming in the house on time whenever I did all of my haul, and I'm like, I thought I got something else. So the Power Greens is a one pound box and it is going to go bad sooner than if we were to have bought one that wasn't on clearance, but I've never had an issue with it not lasting me for the week. We have salad almost every day and then we use this in our smoothies. So if any of it is going to go bad before we can use it, I will stick it into the freezer and then it's not wasted. I will let you know how much I spent in the description box and I think we're not gonna really need anything else next week, so. All right, so now that I have my meal plan that I created before I went to the store, then I went to the store, saw what was a good deal. Now I'm going to go ahead and just finalize everything on each weekday, and then as the week goes on, things can get shifted around, moved around, choose to eat things different days. That's what happens, and we use dry erase. So first we're gonna get started with Sunday. I know that we'll be going out to eat with friends for our lunch. And then for breakfast, we're just gonna eat probably some cereal. And then for dinner, we'll have leftovers. So that'll be a really easy day. I don't have to think too much about that. Then I do already know Thursday's gonna be really busy for me. So that's the day we're going to do burgers and Dakota's going to cook. So we'll do that. And then for um, any other days. Oh, Saturday, I know that we have our festival in town. So it's a wing fling is what they call it. So we'll be eating there. And then for dinner, we'll probably just have like some mac and cheese or, you know, some other kind of really easy thing that's in the fridge. Plus we always come home with leftover wings. So it'll just be like, you know, leftovers. And then for breakfast that day, we'll probably do some pancakes. And then any other days that I know we're Wednesday, I'm usually pretty busy as well. I'm going to go ahead and put on there to do the a sausage sheet pan because that is another really easy dish and we're gonna use brats for that 
Um, I'm gonna try using radishes in the oven. I know that I can saute them on the stove top and kind of do like a mock potato bowl, but we're gonna try them in the oven this time and then use some peppers and whatever. So do that. And then another night we're gonna have some sriracha chicken legs. I think we'll do that on Tuesday. And then for the side dishes, I'm just going to keep it really simple with some vegetables from the freezer, maybe a salad. And then I have chicken pesto on the meal plan. I've already got some chicken thawed out, so we'll use that first in the week. And then I might do some pasta to go with it. And that chicken is gonna be chicken breast. And then after that, I just have room for leftovers. So we're gonna do leftovers on Friday. And then if there's a time where one of these meals doesn't work out, I have some frozen chicken, like chicken strips that are fried in the freezer. I have some stir fry stuff in the freezer. Things that are really easy that can just come out, go in the microwave, or you know be popped into the oven without really having to think about it. So that'll be easy. Um, for breakfast on Monday, we'll do some oatmeal. And then for lunch, we'll do some salad with soup. I have some soup in the freezer and I have I have some salad that we can make and then soup in the freezer. I also have one can of soup in the pantry, so we can do that. For Tuesday, we'll do some cereal again. That'll be exciting for the kids and probably for me too. And we'll have some fruit with it. And then for lunch, we'll do some chicken. Oh, no, we're doing chicken for dinner. Let's do, I don't know yet. I don't know, we'll probably do leftovers probably have enough food for leftovers and then for Wednesday we'll go ahead and do some oatmeal breakfast cookies and then for lunch we'll do some salad and soup and then if you don't already know this by now Weston my son and my daughter Malin their dinner is always the same as us but their lunches are not always the same as the adults all of the meal plan that I do always includes lunches for my husband and I, the kids' lunches are separate. So for Thursday, we'll go ahead and do some eggs with cheese for breakfast, maybe some toast. We'll see, I'm probably gonna have some leftover biscuits in the freezer, um, maybe pancakes, so we'll just see, but I definitely wanna get some eggs in us for that day. And then for lunch, we'll go ahead and do some, let's do some soup from the freezer. And then for Friday, like that'll be like a heartier soup. If I'm doing a salad with soup, it'll be something that is more like, um, I don't know, like a, the tomato soup too. This day we'll probably do some tortilla soup. Um, it's a thicker, heartier soup that has meat and beans, so we won't need anything to go with it. And then Friday we'll go ahead and do some pancakes, again from the freezer, get those finished off between the two days. And then we'll have some eggs to go with it and then for lunch we'll go ahead and do salad with chicken so probably like a caesar salad that is our entire meal plan for this coming week and then here is where i go ahead and write down anything that needs to be thawed out or anything that needs like a meal prep so i know i need the brats thawed out for our sausage sheet pan. I'm gonna need chicken legs for the sriracha chicken. And then I'm going to need burgers for Thursday. And I need to thaw out some soup. So with the soup, I'm going to thaw out the tortilla soup. Yeah. And then I'm gonna do the veggie soup. For the meal prep, I don't really have too much to do. I need to make bread for the kids' sandwiches, and then I also wanna get those breakfast cookies done. But that's really it. All right, y'all, thank you so much for hanging out with me today for our grocery shopping trip, meal plan, all the things. And if you have any ideas for what we should eat for dinner next week, remember, let me know in the comments down below. And until the video you see next, I will see you in the comments.